Hi, welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, today is a real quick one. I just want to show you a few pieces that I've made some changes to whenever I'm doing some pieces, especially ones that I haven't done for a little while. Sometimes I make some small modifications to them. So I wanted to give you a chance to take a look at those and uh, see what I've done. So the cus customer in question um, ordered a variety of pieces uh, to be flocked with the um, static grass that's similar to um, Games Workshop static grass. So that's been done. But um, the more important changes are a few of the subtle things that I've done to the, the pieces themselves. Um, in the past, when I've done the split rail wood fence, I've done them with um, two wider uh, cross beams, and, uh, rails I should say. And so here I've opted for three smaller ones. I've done these with balsa wood, uh, which is not the strongest wood, but has really nice wood grain on it. And then I've gone ahead and I've stained the wood using a, a wood stain. I'm going to do a review of that product and another wood stain that I have have in a future video, but I really like the natural slate gray that it imparts on the wood, and it really picks up some of the nice variations in the wood, and different pieces have different levels of stain, which looks, you know, really natural and well weathered. In retrospect, I probably could have gone in and chipped some of the rails before I stained it. Once I did the uh, staining, however, you can't really chip the wood and then go back in and restain because it's going to produce a more modeled effect that may not look natural. Um, but overall, I wanted to uh, produce a, a large set of these relatively quickly with a real wood grain finish, and I really like the effect that the stain gives it. So keep an eye out for a video review on that stain coming up soon. Second thing was um, a large set of walls. These are the slate walls. Give me a close-up of that so you can see the texture. Um, and I've just been working um, to try to um, produce a little bit more of a gradation between the tops and the bottoms of the walls. I don't think I've actually done as strong an effect as I probably could have. And um, in fact, on a future piece I'm working on for this order at Large Fieldstone Ruins, I've taken that and done something a lot more extreme. So I'll show you that later. But just to give you a chance, quick look at these uh, slate walls, I maybe haven't seen them in a while. Um, and then, um, as a third set, a large set of um, large granite rock outcroppings. Now these have gotten a much more substantial change as normally in the past I've actually sanded these relatively smooth as I felt the uh, carving with the wire produced a, uh, a more of an unnatural effect. While using the Hot Wire Foam Factory's freehand router, that blade gets so hot and if you drag it at just the right speed you can get these very interesting textures on the foam as the foam melts as it pulls across it. I felt a little unsure about these as I was working on them and I didn't want them to look more unnatural than the last pieces I did but I felt like the old ones were just a little bit too smooth so in this case I decided to leave them with their rough cut surfaces try to emphasize some of that melted texture I'll give you a little close up here and I really like the way they came out. I think they look much better than the old set, and this is going to be the dominant way that I do them in the future. They've gotten a slightly larger base, and here, just for an experiment, I decided to put in one of those wire frame branches, and I'm going to be doing actually a more detailed review of these in uh, the video when I do the um, wood stain as well, so keep your eye out for that video. But it gives you a sense of where I'm going with these pieces at the moment. Um, I really like the way they came out. A lot of nice vegetation, feels very natural and it's going to produce a nice, you know, line of sight blocker and tactical movement variations on the table. Let's move these out of the way. And lastly, I made a few subtle changes to the stone circle. Uh, stone circle is part of this order, and um, if you've seen my pe previous video on the stone circle, this was based on, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember, a lentil stone circle, I think is the name of it. I can't remember, where it has a large, flatter, uh, oblong stone, rectangular stone, then flanked by larger stones around it. Um, these are cast in resin based on real slate stone pieces that I shaped and uh, really gives a super nice natural look to it. And one of the things in the previous piece that I had done is leave the entire area relatively bare of other kinds of stonework, uh, you know, meaning I didn't include any of these little rubble pieces around it because if you look at pictures, they're often very clean environments. They've been constructed by, you know, people. They were keeping it orderly. It was a, you know, a ritualized environment. They, but um, you know, looking at it when I finished it, even though it looked probably more correct to not have little stones scattered about, it actually looked wrong. Because again, we have an often a very idealized view of how things should look, 
and it really needed a little something to break up the flat areas and I think help tie in the larger stones. So I've gone in and I've added in a few small amounts of stones around hither and thither, a couple in the interior, um, just to kind of, I think, make it feel a little more natural and a little less maybe uh, artificial. So. Um, is it exactly true, you know, to the way the stone circle might have been used? No, but I think it looks better, and so that's probably the way I'm going to be going in the future for these pieces. Again, done with the static grass. Um, that's a custom blend that I've done to match GW at a much lower cost. Uh, this matches the GW basic uh, grass blend. So my effort with this video is to keep it very short, as sometimes I can get gabby, but I wanted to give you a chance to just see some of those minor things that sometimes I alter from time to time, I'm always trying to improve pieces, and uh, these are very subtle changes, but I think overall really are uh, bringing the pieces just a little bit more life. Um, if you want to leave any comments or questions below, I'm happy to answer those, and I appreciate the feedback that I get, it really means a lot to me. And uh, keep your eye out on the channel uh, because I'm going to be putting up a few videos over the next couple days, some product reviews, um, hopefully a new hot wire foam factory uh, tool review, and, um, and some other work as well. So keep your eye on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.